Okay, week two of a flat race in here, season eight, and uh, we've got some good races for you today, another 12 to to contend with. We've got a couple of group threes, a couple of the pointers to the uh, 1,000 and 2,000 guineas over at Newmarket with the Neil Gwynn and the Craven Stakes. But let's just take a look back at uh, what happened last week and see who's at the top of the board. Well, with an amazing strike rate uh, with six winners and just under 50% win strike rate is John Morgan out of his 13 starts and amazing six wins. Followed by Django in second um, and Jim Murray in second, both with five wins. I mean, Django has to get his own round of applause an impressive performance um, from a uh, a second season trainer well done and then we're followed up with a couple with four wins apiece of Stephen Rand and Darren Thompson and then we've got Moilet Surfer with three hands Paul and Joshua Sutherland with two and then we've got five different trainers uh, just with a one win apiece which is David Robertson, Graham Clutterbuck, Sirius Chill, Martin Leadham and James Follis so well done to everybody there but looking on to uh, the races for this week we're going to start with a couple of races from Epsom, where Doug Warren will be in the chair. Those Australian upside down audios. <laughs> and then we go over to uh, Doncaster, where we've got three races, where we start with the Lincoln. It's the biggest big hand four-year-old plus handicap of the year, where Josh Sutherland's top weight and the only previous winner in the race uh, break the rules and be going for two out of two. Good luck with that one. Then we follow up with the Brocklesby for the little two-year-olds, um, where I think uh, last time winner Bronze Tree for Jim Murray is going to go off favourite in that one. And then we're over to Newmarket, where uh, Doug will be joined by Martin Leadham to call a few of them home. Where we've got a couple of good, it's a bit of a three-year-old day, where we've got the Neil Gwynn, where the little girlies will go off over seven furlongs, and ten of them go to post there. That will be followed by the Craven Stakes, where also ten are going to post, and uh, Darren Thompson's Velos Bay Court will go off favourite in that one. And there'll be some pointless to the 1,000 and 2,000 guineas. And um, we'll finish up with a couple more three-year-old races of the day at Newmarket, which is the Tattersall's Sprint and the Tattersall's Trophy. So uh, enjoy the race in the day and good luck all. Bye.